Welcome, yeah. Sebastian. So I know you haven't driven it yet. What was your first uh, feeling of the new car at first sight? Well, I think uh, obviously that is a change in color for me. So it's a uh, you know a new uh, experience. But I think the car looks beautiful. Uh, to get uh, you know to see how it comes together, it's always something special. Every year when there's a new car and you see the first bits and then finally the the final. The final car all assembled, I think it's uh, something special, so I can't wait to, to go on track and see how it feels. Uh, one question drivers normally get asked about is about the driving position and seat. So coming from another team, how do you feel? Is it any different from what it used to be? Do you feel comfortable in the car? Well, obviously changing team, there's a lot of different things, uh, you know, not so much about the driving position because obviously it's custom made, so you can ask for uh, things that you like, but in terms of the steering wheel layout and uh, the strategy is, uh, is a bit different. So people talk, uh, you know, about probably the same things, but uh, in a different, different language, uh, meaning uh, they use different words for probably similar, similar actions. So uh, it's always uh, a lot of new things to, to learn, but uh, I think we'll have you know, the, the time through the beginning of the year, through testing to, to get into the rhythm. It's not just about changing colors, it's about wearing red, uh, the red of the school year. So how do you feel about it? You're settling uh, in with the uh, life uh, in Italy and the school year? Yeah, more and more so. I think the first time when I arrived last year and I had the opportunity to test the car from 2012 was already something magical, so uh, something really, really special and uh, of course to now, you know, get going and start the 2015 season uh, properly. Uh, it will be something special, but uh, yeah, I think when the, the flag drops in, uh, in Melbourne, I think will be again a very special thing. The first, uh, first race with Ferrari, uh, everything is red and it's a very special color because it means so much with so much history. So I'm very much uh, looking forward to it. So one long season ahead and the uh, uh, team needs to recover from last year. So what could real realistic expectation be for, be for, the, for the coming season? Well, I think, uh, you know, there's a lot of change going on. There's a lot of uh, new people in uh, new positions, so um, including myself. So, uh, you know, it, it always takes a bit of time to, to settle in until you, you really start to, to make uh, proper progress. But uh, I'm confident that, you know, we are going in the right direction. But I think it would be wrong to immediately expect uh, a lot of us. Uh, obviously, uh, also we need to remember we're coming from a 2014 season where there was one team very dominant. So uh, it will be uh, difficult to, you know, be uh, right there from the beginning. But I think for us, the main main target is to uh, yeah start to really work together, start to make progress and hopefully catch up more and more and more as the season progresses. So you and Kimi have uh, been known to, to get along quite well together. How are you looking forward to working with him? Well, I'm, I don't expect any, any, any problems. I mean, he will be a dif difficult teammate to beat on the track because he's very quick, very talented. But, uh, you know, I think uh, off track we get along well and uh, usually there's not so much words uh, <laughs> uh, being exchanged, but uh, it's always very straightforward, which, which is something uh, I appreciate uh, in Kimi and uh, is not uh, happening that often in, in Formula One. You've been with the Italian team before, uh, so did you uh, brush up some of the Italian? Are you you're going to speak uh, some other language, or? Yeah, I think I'm I'm getting into it. Obviously, it helps the more you the more time you spend with the team, uh, the more you listen to the language and so on. On top, I try to obviously learn a little bit uh, as 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 the season goes on. But uh, yeah, uh, you know, coming from Toro Rosso, the Italian seems to seems to come back. I think I understand fairly well, but. Uh, I lack a little bit of uh, vocabulary to, to really uh, yeah, start speaking on my own. And finally, Mauricio said he would be happy with uh, one win this season. Uh, you share his view? Well, I think we would be happy, but of course we'd be happier if we would win more. So, uh, But, you know, as I said, uh, you have to be realistic. There's a lot of change that happened uh, over winter. So um, I think the most important is that we you know, start getting into the groove quickly in, in winter testing and then uh, yeah, we start to, start to make progress. Uh, if the situation is like last year, it will be very difficult to really fight for, for, for victories. But of course, it's our goal. Uh, that's why we're here. We're not here to, to finish second. Is there any specific track you're looking forward to in the calendar? Uh, I'm always looking forward to go to Japan. Suzuka, I think, is uh, more or less my favorite track. But there's a lot of uh, you know, events in the calendar. Melbourne, I think, is a great place to start the season. Uh, it's, a, it's a great city, a great place, great vibe, uh, and a great track on top. Uh, Singapore is one of the events I enjoy a lot. It's a you know proper night race and a, a very technical and demanding track. So yeah, there's you know there's not really a race I don't like. So I'm looking forward to all the races.